Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Ultimate General American Revolution, a game that is currently in early access, available through Game Labs' website. It's a real-time tactical and strategy war game in the American Revolution. At the current state of the game, you can only play as the Americans in the 1775 campaign, which is what we are doing right now. This is episode number 11 of the Let's Play series. In our last video, uh, we kind of began or concluded the beginning phases of our offensive on Boston. We successfully took Middleborough, which is sort of the adjacent city to Boston, uh, defeated an enemy army, inflicting about 50% casualties on them, considerably more on them than they on us. And we are now in the process of preparing for the on Boston itself. Now, it remains to be seen if we will be able to attack directly. I think we may have to use some trickery to try and break their forces up a bit so that we're not going up against essentially an equal enemy force to our own in terms of manpower, because that's not a good recipe for the Americans at this stage. Um, but we'll see how that plays out in this episode. This was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel, so if you are interested in joining those or f watching those, uh, there is a link in the description where you can find the Twitch channel, and I actually see the whole stream uh, is VOD up there if you don't want to wait for the further episodes. Uh, but without further ado, that's enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the stream. Um, what was that? Yeah, cast sign was lost. So my, my strategy here of the reason I wanted to raise a supply regiment or whatever is because my theory is if I get into a battle in Boston, it's going to be a battle where we are holding back a lot of our effort from the assault. So we're not going to be like going over the top charging at them. We'll stay back. We'll try to use our artillery to weaken them as they come up and allow us to hold in a defensive fight. But to do that, I'm going to need more ammo than I have in, in my caissons. And so having a supply wagon should allow me to sit back and fight a ranged fight more effectively than needing to rush forward and melee. Thank you for the follow. Still be uh, Rhode Island loyalty. Yeah, I'll take, I need 2,500 cash badly. I thought I had enough wagons. All right. Does it, one of the things I don't like about this is it doesn't tell me how many wagons I need. Tells me I need more, but how many? Because I don't want to buy more than I need. They're kind of expensive. We'll buy two. Hopefully that's enough. We'll sell our one textile. Okay. And then we've been selling some of our surplus because it does seem like we've got a slight surplus in civilian muskets right now. So that'll get us back to four grand. 108 brown buses. I enjoyed last train. Finish. All right. We'll wait one more day. Cool. Sounds good. Let me know if Wolf is. I saw, I think you were playing with him earlier. I posted in the thing, but he hasn't, he hasn't responded yet. So, all right. Okay. So we got 20 more men. Still not enough wagons. How many wagons do I need? Because they're expensive. Uh, all right. Two more. I'll 
keep selling the surplus civilian muskets to finance my wagon addiction. And we're at 4,800. They, they're to 4,000 at Boston, so my manpower advantage is fleeting. I need more ammo and provisions. We can pick some of those up at Providence and Newport. What does this do? This increases recruits at Hartford? Yes. How much does it cost? 1,100 gold, 32. Can't do that. So it's the first time we've upgraded a barracks, by the way. Okay. We'll wait one more day. September 21st is the date of departure for the wagons at Hartford. Britain and Creek tensions are rising. Yay. Okay, so it must be five wagons, but we, we have enough wagons now. So we will have these guys set out from Hartford. They do not have a full complement of ammo or anything. Interestingly enough, Lester has a lot. Has six. It's like they've got a depot there or something. Let's get the wagons on the road. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. We lost Falmouth. Did we lose another regiment then? I think we had a regiment at Falmouth. Wait. Who's who's attacking who? Oh. The troops in Falmouth uh, were driven out of the city. I would order you guys to give up the fight, but... Looks like maybe that's where the troops that pulled out of Boston went. So we're reducing Falmouth. Which means we may be on a bit of a timer before they come south. But again, these wagons are not going to be anything near full full strength. Um, if they wait here a day, will they pull from Newport? Oh, wait, they just pulled 500 more men out of Boston. Okay. All right, it looks like they did draw two more provisions and ammunition from the town. That's good. Go get some from Bo from Providence. What Navy? Finish. There's two ships here. Converted merchantmen or something to that effect. No, oh, I wanted you to leave Newport. They get any more there? They did. So they're up to almost half of a, of a unit of wagons worth of ammo. I'm not as worried about provisions. I don't think this is going to be a long field campaign. Meanwhile, Middleborough should have enough to actually stock them entirely. My money situation isn't good anymore, though. So back to the market. So 230 civilian muskets, brown vests. We apparently finally equipped all of the troops that had them with it because now we're out of out of weapons. Some units also have Charleville's. One textile we can sell. Two copper. Let's level one wood. Three construction materials. Two saltpeter. Two coal. And two horses. 
So it gets me back to two grand. We're three days away from another thousand, I think, in gold from uh, Congress. Two days away from completing the quartermaster's commit, uh, equipment committee, which will increase research department speed. Six days away from some iron, which we could sell or, or could use. And, yeah. I don't have enough recruits right now, I don't think, to raise a new regiment of troops. Maybe. Uh, I might, actually. This is just money. It says we don't have enough money. All right. These guys have Charleville 66s, which I have no way to get more of. So we're going to get rid of those, them. And then one of these units will drop their brown buses for civilian muskets. I bought 20 more Charleville so they can get fully equipped. And then we're going to sell those Charleville 66s because the only way we can get those is gifts from France. You can't, like, they never actually show up on the market. So I'll take the cash for selling those. You can buy 77s on the open market. Those are apparently future guns, two years in the future. Foreign powers are a thing. We've been given aid from France more than once. Not not much yet, but again, it's 1775, so it's not quite the uh, the period of considerable foreign involvement either. All right. Wait till the 26th of September so that wagon can draw its supplies. Suspicious merchants. Residents report that one of the merchants helping the British. There's no reliable evidence of it. It's New York. It's 2,500 cash. New York loyalty is only at 60%, so we will not. No witch hunt here, boys. Uh, meanwhile, the wagons are nearly full. Not enough muskets, not enough officers, not enough muskets, not enough officers. Okay. I need more brown basses, but I have no way to get them. Do we just go with what we've got? I think we might. If we attack Boston right now, based on the intel we have, we'd outnumber them by 1,600 men. And I would also bring the militia out of Leicester, which would give us about a 2,000-man advantage. My regular troops are under strength, specifically the uh, 6th Connecticut up here. I don't have enough officers up here to replace my losses. I will do that next. We'll do 20 low-ranking officers, but we'll, have, we'll end up having another battle before that happens. Um, and I don't really want to spend... Reputation, if I don't have to. I suppose one other option. Well, I need the officers anyway. So I, what I need is I need to I need to build some schools. That's how you get officers. All right, New Haven has the most surplus labor right now. So we will build a schoolhouse here, 600 gold, five construction material, one additional officer point. All these other towns have such a small population of available workers that doesn't really make sense. Hartford's already sort of maxed out to Middleborough's got a nice, but it's too close to the front line, I think. Too risky. Maybe if we take Boston, but... Anyway, it's going to take some time to build that, too, so... I'm going to do one thing that maybe 
I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to move the 450 men of Leicester out into this wood, hoping that it draws the British out of Boston and that they send some troops west so that maybe we can sneak in here and take Boston while they're, like, chasing these troops down. Of course, that does risk us losing Leicester, but if it gives me a bigger advantage, I'll do it. I'll take it. Right, let's form these brigades up. Why are you guys not forming into one unit? All right. I really, it, this seems kludgy that I've got to do it, that I've got to form my brigades this way. Did I only do three? We wanted, I'm, I'm doing four, four regiment brigades this time. It's working. Now run back to Lester, boys. <laughs> Get back to Lester before they obliterate you. Timing on this may not have been perfect. Okay. Not enough officers, muskets, or officers. So this is going to be our regular brigade, but it'll be less effective. Let's also, I guess, have the uh, wagon with them. Can the wagons not join a brigade? Looks like maybe they can't. Well, I think they're attacking Lester. Get on the garrison, boys. You know, there's a, there's two interesting opportunities here. One of them would be to try and isolate and destroy these 1,600 men they've got pursuing our 450 at Lester and defeating them and then moving on Boston. The other is just moving on Boston directly. Oh, man, they pulled more than that out of there. There's only 1,400 men at Boston. Why are they? Okay, so we're going to do the thing where I didn't want to do the thing, but my supply wagon didn't move, so I don't know that they're in this battle, but I don't particularly want to wait either and have the enemy start on top of me and me having routed regiments. Also, there's 700 men that are just outside the reinforcement zone, probably coming down from Salem. So we are going to start the battle now before those additional regiments can arrive. So we've got 50 men under, I assume this is Gage, and then 2,100 troops. Versus, what do we have, 5,000 men? Let's go, boys! Let's liberate Boston. Okay, and we didn't start on top of them. Nice. We've got a little bit of room to deploy. Wow, they're heavily outnumbered. Okay. Okay. I'm sure I'm jinxing this, but I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better than I was before. Shouldn't have said that. They might even just flat out retreat. There's a very good chance the enemy just decides, hey, we don't want to fight this battle. Let's retreat because they can do that. Is there a maximum number of brigades? Because some of these guys don't aren't in a brigade and I swear they were. Oh, shit. They're on the right. Uh, 
Air artillery. Don't die. All right, let's Horatio gate this in the gates this in the pure in the uh Patriot and just go toe to toe with the British in open field. Let's do it. Can you guys deploy and just start shooting? Right face. Order arms. This is a clusterfuck. Hell yeah. Oh God. My artillery's already flanked. Run away. Uh. Wow, that infantry rotted quick. Got to love the artillery flying over our heads, though, and slamming into the enemy lines. Oh, God, did I just fire Artie into my own lines here? What are you doing? <laughs> These guns just fired into this melee of, of friendlies. Those two units of mine routed, but they did break at least the enemy that was attacking that artillery of mine. I think most of my guns are okay. Front rank new. By the way, that's when you hit the hold button, your front rank kneels and then you get Nice little chunk of uh, cover, 15 or so, even if you're in the open field. So we got a nice thick line of soldiers. And most of our troops are not even engaged. So we should probably remedy that. Move some of these boys up. They can act as reserves. Do the, does the enemy even have any guns? I haven't seen any, but you can see the, the strength on the map here gr dramatically favors us at the moment. My character influences sort of the units in its circle, its command radius. These guys are routing off the map. This is kind of where we're the weakest on the left. These divisions are not as resilient as I would hope. Like they they're much bigger, but they're not they're not all that resilient. Oh, I didn't realize those were regulars who were charging forward here. Nice. Rip into the red coats ranks. Well, those militia charge. Maybe we can break their right flank. And the enemy's routing. Go get them, boys. God, I wish I had cavalry to charge or to ride down their ranks. They're all running. We're not going to do enough damage to them. See if you can intercept these three companies retreating right. Kill them all. I 
I need to do more damage to them so that they don't just retreat into Boston and escape. But I don't have troops that are fast enough to catch them. Um, I don't know why these guys are retreating past you. Because you won't catch the ones you're on the heels of. Maybe if they're running, they will catch them. If we use the double quick command. Can you just melee these guys? Like you're, you're right in the middle of their line. be great if we could just get like two or three hundred of them destroyed Come on, guys. Or just shoot at, shoot at them as they run. Hey, at least they dropped their flag. I was just trying to maybe destroy one or two of their units. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. But at least inflicting some casualties on them while they retreat. Hey, we got the whole gun situation again, just like last time where their guns were invulnerable to melee. I don't understand why... Uh, why this game has gunners so damn invulnerable to enemy fire or even meleeing. I don't get it. Uh, I'm assuming Hauser, the green coats are loyalists. Americans uh, who fought for the British after 1776 in any event tended to wear green jackets with white belts. And quite a lot has changed since Ultimate General Civil War for what it's worth. There's a strategic map now, which didn't exist before. Okay. I think this game has more in common, honestly, with um, Ultimate General or Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail than it does Ultimate General Civil War. Ah, gotcha. You're talking about retreat. Okay. Ooh. Charge. Oh, I didn't mean for you to charge from that far away. I do love that every time I try and do something like this, though, I just fire into my own ranks. Friendly fire. <laughs> Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Probably shouldn't be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with artillery if they're going to get back on their guns, but 
It doesn't seem like I can actually beat them in melees because my militia suck at hand-to-hand -hand combat. So why not volley them? Oh, they volleyed too, so I don't even know if they're on the guns anymore. Okay. This was a much quicker battle than I thought it was going to be. Granted, I don't know that Boston is for sure ours. But this has got to be a bug with how the uh, how the artillery stands and fights when the battle's over and the retreat's been signaled, but the other units all retreat and don't put up a fight. I don't think the AI would deliberately use uh, artillery as a rear guard. But you know what? Come on, disappear. There you go. We captured them. Nice. All right, well, that's the last unit, I think, on the map. So, end the battle. End result, 5,200 Americans, 400 or 359 were casualties, no guns. The enemy lost 477, actually 500 if you include the POW. So they lost about 150 more men. They lost five guns, a quarter of their force, not even 10% of our force. We move down here and we take a look at units destroyed. I don't think we had a single company destroyed. Um, technically, their artillery was not destroyed as far as I can tell, but it did say we captured them, so... Yeah. That was kind of a soft fight. They, they started retreating, I think, way too early. We do have the one problem that the enemy is going toward Leicester, which means that the interior to the colonies is, is exposed if they take Leicester. So we'll have to... See about that. Uh, suspicious Merchant... New York, I don't want to, I don't want to piss them off too much. Is it the British that are rotting? Or we, no, some of our troops are rotting. God damn it. All of our troops are rotting. What the fuck? I didn't even get the option to fight on the. Come on, guys. You outnumber them like five to one. Now they're going to take Leicester and we're going to not even take Boston. All right, what's this? 1,100 to 1,000 men. Are the wagons going to come up? They need more ammo up there. I don't particularly want to fight this battle, but this is going to be a lot narrower of a... I don't think my troops are exhausted. Also, shouldn't theirs be just as exhausted? They just fought too. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's fight this battle. They're about even numbers. We have artillery. I don't know that they do, but sort of a follow-up to the previous one. This one, I don't think they'll retreat from. I don't even know. We might even start the battle with some units already retreating in our force. Hopefully not. We did not. Okay, good. Meanwhile, it's bad weather. All right, guys, sorry about this. For the first minute or two, and you can kind of see this, of the battle, the game got really choppy, um, and there was some encoding issue on my end. So I'm going to jump ahead about four minutes in this battle to when I drop the resolution and fix the issue. Uh, but all I was really doing in this period was merging some of these smaller companies into divisions which allows you to merge multiple companies and have stronger forces and then the enemy comes up and begins to engage us here but you can tell it's real choppy so we're going to jump out about four minutes to, to where i fix the issue i just dropped the resolution we'll see if that makes a difference
All right, so we are committing ourselves to just staying on the defensive in this battle. Hoping that in, in ranged combat, these large divisions of ours will be able to route the enemy. But when they come in close and they melee me, I'm still in trouble. So my right flank is broken. Turn the guns! All right, so they did drive these guys back. This lead division is flanked now. But now we're firing point-blank canister into this initial enemy company, and we did drive them back. We did route them, so that artillery at least temporarily saved us there. Okay. These guys have reformed after falling back slightly. My general is trying to trying to hold the line. This company, this division which retreated is now rallying a little bit. Fire round shot almost into the enemy flank, not quite, but almost. Hey guys, why are you shooting at these boys? Come on, fire point blank canister. Do it. They didn't route, huh? You'd have thought maybe they would. All right. All right, there they go. That next volley of uh, canister into the rear was enough. In fact, they might uh, they might route from the map. I'm not sure. This unit just routed from the map. In fact, they may not survive to fight another day. You can see they're down to 20 men. If we can get another volley into them as they run, they'll probably... Yep, shattered. When the flag disappears from a unit, it means they shattered, which effectively means the unit's destroyed. So these divisions are working for us, at least kind of, sort of, maybe. The artillery's been the backbone, which has allowed us to anchor this line. Oh, fuck. But we've had multiple times where our divisions retreat and then sort of reform. But the artillery has been key to breaking a couple of enemy companies. These guys are routing now. When they're in the command radius of the general, they also gain morale back when they are not fighting. And the enemy does have artillery. I've seen some artillery get fired into us from, from range, but again, at, at point blank range, the artillery does a lot more damage. Okay. Thank you for the sub, Lars. Yeah, I dropped the resolution. I don't know why the battlefield map was in 1440. I swear the monitor's set to 1080 for this stream, so... 
But in any event, sorry for the, any issues with poor performance earlier. So we've got three enemy companies all firing into one of ours. That gives them an advantage to concentrate units. That can be helpful when you, when you, you know, I can only shoot back at one of the bad guys. The counter to that, though, is when you get 140 muskets all firing at one of their companies, it makes it much easier for them to, to be broken. My artillery's running low on ammo. All right, these guys think have enough time they can go back into the fight their morale's back up to 60 all right so this left flank hopefully is secure this enemy company came up close but got driven back ammo for the RD is low it would be helpful to have the supply wagons here but we don't Look at the smoke. This is freaking gorgeous. All right. They're pulling back. They're not routed from the map, though. They're just pulling back. I'm not going to pursue quite yet because the battle is not won, but if they're going to pull back, I'm going to use my interior lines to shift these guys over to the right. I think one of those companies is coming back, but maybe I can get a, a healthy volley in on... If I put 177 muskets on these 60 boys, they will not last long. A copy? Empire of War was how many years ago? I don't know that I'd call it a copy. It's addressing a similar era in real-time tactical combat. I think a copy kind of comes off as a bit more... I don't know. Critical in a way that I don't think warrants it, like... It's not like CA has a, a monopoly on Napoleonic or Revolutionary War tactical combat forever. But there are similarities. I mean they're trying to do they're trying to cover the the same era of, of combat. All right, the regiment we're pursuing over here on the left is retreating off the map. There we go, victory. The enemy has decided that enough is enough. I don't think I can pursue them. Well, we could try, but... Can we knock this guy out? There we go. Shatter that company. Okay, we'll take the victory. I don't know where their artillery is, but... All right, so we had 1,100 men deployed. We lost just... Just shy of, or actually about a third of our men, 355 out of 1,100 ended up as casualties. The enemy, on the other hand, had 1,000 deployed, and they lost over 600, so almost 60% casualties. None of our units were destroyed. They did have one, two companies of infantry permanently destroyed. Another three, four, five, six with heavy damage. So a nice little victory there. Hey, doctor. But 
there you go. So we, for some reason, we lost on the strategic map with a couple of our militia regiments pulling back. But we won just now on the strategic map here. So these two regiments are going to gonna retreat. Let's see if we can get into... What's this? Into Boston itself. Meanwhile, Lester, I think, is still under attack. Hey, we established the post office. That increases government efficiency. Yeah, Lester is still under attack. Are they not taking Boston? I'm kind of confused here. They're just sitting here? Troops are exhausted. They need a break. There's 800 more boys coming south. I'm hoping Stevens can get in range of Boston. I'm hoping Lester can hold out a few more. All right, so there's those both those regiments are in range for the for the battle. They're meleeing Lester, I think now. 1,300 more reinforcements are heading to Canada. Hey, we captured Boston. 50 reputation, 20,000 gold. There you go, boys. Join the garrison. Does the enemy withdraw now that we took Boston? It does look like they're withdrawing north. They're still fighting for Leicester, however, and I think that's where we're hearing that melee. I'm going to pull these troops out and head west to try and relieve Leicester. I don't know if I've got enough men to do it, but the troops arriving in Boston are not in any shape to do it. Right, so they got about 1,200 men there. I do not have enough men. Do they want to keep attacking Leicester, though, with 3,000 Continentals in their rear? Not enough officers. All right, so we took Boston. We got a bunch of reputation, which I can now spend to do things. So first things first, let's get more... Junior officers. Let's get Morgan's riflemen. Oh, God, that's 55 prestige. Maybe not. All right, we've got 82 reputation here, so we can spend that to get stuff fast. So let's get officer recruitment. We'll spend nine. That'll give me two more senior officers. And then we'll get low-ranking officers. We'll get 20 of them for, lo for recruitment of lower ranks. Meanwhile, I don't actually need the cash right now. I've got 20,000 gold. Continental Congress gave me a, a bunch of stuff for taking Boston. The main concern is Leicester because if we look over here to the left, there is no garrison of anything interior here. So should the enemy take Leicester, which they will if we do nothing... They will have 1,200 men that can run roughshod through the center of our, of our lines. Can you raise new troops in a city that's being attacked? I have no officers to do it yet. All right, you know what? Frankly, let's just do that. I know, I know they're tired. I know they're exhausted. Let's let's try and let's try and come to Lester's relief before it falls. Hey, 
Hey, wait, they're pulling back. So you guys, maybe you go back to Boston. Oh, now they're going back to Leicester. Can't imagine they'll fight this. Maybe they, maybe they will. I don't know. The strategic map doesn't do much for you when it comes to. This makes it look like they're winning decisively. I mean, our, our troops are tired, which I think has an oversized effect on the strategic map. So we're going to jump into the tactical stuff. It'll be on Steam eventually strategy. Just probably not till next year. So all of our troops are exhausted. Oh, God, and half of them are already retreating. At least they're not retreating off the map. They're just retreating from the initial contact. The only, enemy only has 600 men. So let's, first off, pull that artillery back at the double. Can you run? Because you really should. Oh, they're routing already. They're already retreating. Okay. Well, we'll just let our artillery pound them then as they run because I don't have the stamina to keep up. Try. Maybe we can catch the guns. It's just one battery. Swarm them. Got them. All right, there you go. So the enemy lost 83 of their 560 men. We lost four. I'll take that. That was easy enough. By the way, it's broken in strategy. Thanks for the follows. All right, so that enemy regiment's going to retreat. So I'm assuming that they will leave me be and let me... Yeah, so these guys are heading north. Boston is ours. Let's go ahead and have one of these guys go back and collect the battlefield loot. Hey, Butcher, where are you going? You guys all get in the garrison. Because we badly need to reinforce our, replace our losses. Okay. Did we capture rum somewhere, somehow? Uh, British command has offered our officer a high rank and recognition with his forces and incentive to change sides. Caden Lamont, Officer Lester, has betrayed us. After all of that, after the heroic defense of Lester, the commanding officer betrays us. Jerk. It's a good thing I've got replacements. Your name doesn't quite roll off the tongue like Benedict Arnold does, though. So I have a hunch you're going to be forgotten. Sorry, bruh. All right, so it's October of 1775, and we have taken Boston from the British. Point of supply and delivery of reinforcements. Okay. So our reputation is still 61 after spending a fair bit. Let's go with Army Innovation for now so we can try and get Benedict Arnold. I need another general. Um, 
Morgan's Rifleman take forever. Quartermaster in Chief, is there anything? Horse pasture, a new building you could research? Increase research speed. That's expensive. Regional warehouse, supply stretcher company, horse. Um, hmm. I want more ammo. All these are so ungodly expensive. Do support training. Regional warehouse seems like it would be valuable. Okay. All right. So the hero of Saratoga. Yeah. I mean, we've taken Fort Ticonderoga. We're holding out here. We do have objectives in the next 350 days to take both Quebec and Montreal. So the Canada, the Canada, I was going to say the can the Canada campaign. We're already a decent way up the valley with taking Ticonderoga. We know the enemy has been reinforcing Canada heavily though. We've seen at least Anywhere between 2,600 to 5,000 reinforcements have been sent there. So that's a thing to think about. Um, meanwhile, we need more recruits. Boss needs to repair its dockyard and its town hall. I'm also going to go ahead and build a recruiting house to get more recruits. And... I think we'll leave that there. Middleborough, meanwhile, has some decent amount of construction points. So let's go build. Do we want horse production? Officer points. I think we need officers badly. So we'll do that. And then... Leicester might have enough points. Like all the other cities that have less than... We can't really do anything with Hartford. It's already maxed out size. Hatfield's got 1.4 construction points. Let's do textiles. Okay, so I just spent a fair chunk of money. That's going to keep ticking down with construction not being cheap. Uh, we've got 1,100 civilian muskets, but a lot of that's going to need to go to replacing our casualties. Somehow we only captured nine brown bests or 70 brown besses in that whole kerfuffle. I'll buy the handful that are on the open market. We did capture two six pound field guns, so that's nice. I want to hold on to those. Maybe we can equip a sec. We have one battery with them, but maybe we can equip a second. We could also, you know, is this 12,000? 2,000? We could, we could buy some ships. Build a little navy. We got two already down here at Newport, but they're blockaded in. If I could place them down there, that would be useful. Copper, we're going to sell the three we got in storage just because it's a nice little supply of money here. Uh, we've got the one textile we'll sell. And I think we've got one surplus wagon we'll sell. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. You can see we just took the city of Boston, drove the enemy force that was threatening Leicester back, and won a couple of tactical battles. That strategic defeat was weird. I think our troops, I think the strategic map way OPs units that are tired uh, or, or oh, underpowers them relative to what happens on the actual tactical battle map. Like, you can work around troops that are fatigued on the on the strategic or on the tactical battle map doesn't seem like you have much effect if you do that at the tactical level so just something to keep in mind i guess if you're playing um at least at this current build uh but that's going to do it for today's episode we've been going like an hour uh, so we'll probably jump ahead a little bit because the next 20 minutes are me just getting some logistical and r d stuff in order we'll recap that in the next video but until the next video i hope you guys are enjoying this series i hope you guys are enjoying the game Leave your thoughts below as always, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.